In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a message when you go to log in Google Chrome or Chromium or any of the Chromium based browsers. Now, I don't have this problem, but my parents' computer, my mom had a sheet next to her computer and uh, she would put her password in when she started to use her browser and she had other instructions for her computer and around Thanksgiving she put that sheet away and since then she's not used her computer and I asked her today uh, why haven't you been using your computer and she said she's misplaced her sheet and uh, she didn't have all her instructions and one of the things was uh, her password for her browser even though uh, she uses it not quite often every now and then uh, she still uses the, her instruction sheet. He's, she's in her upper 70s. So I thought, well, how can I make it easier for her? And, and this is the little message that was on her screen when she went to use Google Chrome for the first time when she turned her computer on. After that, she could close it out and go back to it, and it would keep it. It's just that when she turned off her computer. And so I got on the Internet, and I'll go ahead and close this out. I got on the Internet and done some research, and a lot of people were saying that this is a way on multiple websites uh, was to have it to come on saying password store basic and they even showed how to edit uh, a file and put that within the file and I rebooted and that did get rid of the uh, message for it logged on but it didn't keep her username and password when she went to try to check the Gmail account she not only had to put her password to log in she had to type her entire Gmail address so I thought that's not the desired outcome of what I was looking for so I got my laptop and I compared my settings with the settings on her machine and the one thing I did notice is when I went to applications uh, accessories and clicked on password and keys uh, when I compared mine with hers she only had underneath passwords a login folder and it was locked and I looked on my laptop and then I went and looked on my other systems and all of my other systems and I'll drag this out a little bit had where it said default key ring and hers only had login now she started using Ubuntu Mate 16.04 and I've been upgrading it since then and I really didn't realize that you know the aggravating thing was popping up and I don't know when it occurred but uh, she just wrote a sheet down that had her password that she put into it that she's been using it with the nag and, and I really didn't realize it but what I did was I went into her login folder and I right click and I unlocked it and when I unlocked it I went in there and deleted all the contents out and then I locked it back after you unlock it you have to put your password and I'm not going to, uh, to do that uh, and then you can delete the contents and then you go back and where that's unlocked that becomes lock now this was her default so I created her a new default and I unlocked it and then we rebooted and then when she uh, put her username and password for the first time it took it and it imported all of her passwords that were once in this folder and it put it in the correct folder and after I rebooted the system everything worked the way that it does on my machine and uh, the way that she likes to use it so I've got the steps on my computer since I'm not going to go through and change my system files uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this error message if you have the same problem now this does occur when you choose to log into your computer without prompting you for your password now if you're prompting for your password and you log in more than likely you're not experiencing this trouble and if you do experience this trouble this probably will not be a solution for your problem you know I have my computers because I'm the only one that uses it or my relatives use it so I kind of can depend upon the people that are using my computer that they won't mess with my system or or uh, get online and steal my passwords and log on somewhere else and with that my parents my mom is the really the only one that uses her computer I do sometimes and my brother does sometimes when we're visiting but I have all the steps and this is her system I thought while I'm fixing it I'm gonna take some screenshots and put it on my web page so if someone else has a similar problem and if I found the solution they can fix it the same way that I fixed her system so if you notice the icons up here doesn't match mine it's because this is my parents computer so I did go on applications accessories and I clicked on the passwords and keys as I showed you earlier and as you can see this was the exactly what was up now I did have some links that had IP addresses so I I don't know if they were of her system I blurred them out just to be on the safe side uh, but then I 
when I brought up the passwords and keys dialog box, I noticed that her login folder, at the time it was, it was locked. I'm the one that unlocked it because I was going to delete these. And at the time, I took a snapshot. I noticed it was locked, indicating that she would have to put a password in to unlock it. But I thought, well, this didn't match mine. So I unlocked it. And I, after I unlocked it, I went ahead and created file new because I wanted to create a folder with the same name that was on my system and when you go to file new it will bring you up a little seahorse dialog box with some options it's going to give you five different options you're going to choose the option of password key ring and then you're going to go hit the continue button and when you do it's going to prompt you to give the key ring a name to match my computers I called it default key ring and then I hit the OK button and after I hit the OK button, it's going to prompt you to put in a password, to put your password for that system. Since I don't want her to put in a password each time she uses a Google Chrome browser or any of the Chromium-based browsers, I just left both of these blank and I pressed the Continue key. And then it's going to let you know that they're unencrypted. Uh, it's going to tell you that, you know, like if someone's sitting at your computer, if they're a lot, they'll be able to log in, you know, uh, your browser's not safe, but you know, since she's the only one that uses her computers other than me and my brother, uh, I figure that's safe, so I hit the continue button. And then, as you can see here, uh, since I was logged in here, there was a lot of them. Uh, I deleted them by selecting a group and pressing the delete key, but I also wanted to show that you can right click them and choose delete. You can delete them individually or you can select them all. You can kind of click on the first one, hold down the shift key and press the down arrow key to select them all and then press the delete key or right click and choose delete and empty out that folder. And after you empty the folder, you right click and you can lock the folder back. And that will lock this folder so that this folder uh, won't try to place passwords back into it. Now also this is the default folder at the moment because see I can't set this folder as default because it currently is the default folder. Now once I locked it uh, I'm then going to go and make the changes now to the default key ring. I want this new folder that we created I want this to be my new default folder. So I right clicked on the default keyring folder that we just created and I chose to set it as my default so that when I log in to my browsers it will try to store all the the files like you saw in the login folder or links and passwords into this location and then it will uh, once you do that don't reboot your computer just yet uh, bring up your browser and if it does prompt you for a username and password, put it in there. And then it asks you, if it does ask you to save your password, uh, you type in your username and password within the web uh, browser. And it may prompt you, uh, again, say, do you want to save this? Choose to save it. Because what you're doing when you hit the save button, and you may want to, after you hit set it as default, to reboot. And the reason I say to, to do that reboot uh, is so that, the earlier when you logged on your current session was this was the default so I do recommend that you reboot and that way when you reboot then bring up your browser and uh, like I said go to Google log into your Gmail account put your email address and your password that you normally log on and it will think this is the first time you've logged on even though you've probably logged on it multiple times before and it will prompt you do you want to save your password press the save button so that it can save that link and your password into this default keyring folder and that way once you do that the next time you reboot your system and you use Google Chrome or any of the Chromium based browsers it shouldn't prompt you for your keyring password it should now be stored in your new folder that you created which is called the default uh, keyring because as you can see here I don't have I'm not on her system I'm on mine as you can see here there's nothing in this folder just like I did with hers I left this unlocked so that way I don't have to put my username or password and it keeps every site that I go to uh, and as you can see here it says password secret so it's this is is an encrypted password uh, as you can see through here I have a lot of sites that I've been to that it stores 
and I do have an Ubuntu One account. I've made another video where I logged in there to get uh, to for that live patch, and it stores my password and it's secret. So it will keep your passwords and a lot of them secure, but if someone is using your computer, they can go, if you've got it set by your settings, to log in automatically. If someone's at your computer, they will be able to go to your sites. So if you're using your computer with multiple people, you might want to lock that. To lock it, you just right click on it and choose to lock. And if someone does get a hold of your password, you can click change password, put your old password when it pops up, and I'll, and I'll click on it. When it pops up, you put your old password, hit continue, then it'll prompt you with a similar box that you saw above, and you can put a new password in it. Uh, but since I'm the only one or my relatives use my computer, I leave it unlocked. If you do this, then hopefully it will fix your keyring problem. This got rid of her message, and I don't have uh, this problem. Uh, she was the only one that did have it, and luckily for me, I was able to use my laptop to compare my settings with her, and I figured it out. So hopefully this will help you, and have a great day.